Hello guys, my name is Vijay Kumar Vaka. I am working as Senior Solution Consultant in Epicero. In this session, let's uh, go through a few MCQ uh, questions. And for the same thing, right, I'll, I'll be sharing the link of the same MCQ test in the description of this video. So whoever wants to directly attempt that test, they can, they can uh, attempt it. And then if you want some explanation, you can resume uh, this video recording. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, what do you say? Attempt this test. Okay, so what is the first question? It is the resources that are required to your Mule application can be uh, created or stored in which folder? So this is the question, and these are the four options. Okay, so for our Mule application, right? For our Mule application, whatever the resource uh, you require, you'll be uh, I mean, you'll be, ha I mean, pushing that or creating that in into this folder source main resources. Okay, so this is the dedicated folder uh, which will help you to store the uh, resources or files or uh, keys for your mule flows. So this is the answer for, for this question. So source main resources. Okay. Next question is the latest version of mule runtime. So we all knew that the latest version of mule runtime is 4.4 now how can you cross verify that so if you are a beginner you can check uh, it this way like when you're creating a new uh, mule project right so uh, this is this is where you can see the mule runtime so that this is 4.4 uh, 4.4.0 right so this is the mule runtime so uh, if you're uh, having world studios right then it will be different but here i'm having a recent studio so that the recent version of mule runtime is 4.4 let's go ahead so what's the memory of logs a mule application can get or allowed by default in cloud hub so if you see this uh, application right this is the application that is deployed in cloud hub now when you click on logs so by default right you are going to have 100 MB of, I mean, this application will get 100 MB uh, for the storing of the logs. That means whatever the logs used, you log right from through your application, uh, that can accumulate to 100 MB only. If it is exceeding, then what, what happens? The previous logs will be deleted automatically and the recent logs will be stored. So on a whole, you can only store 100 MB of, uh, uh, I mean 100 MB memory of logs from Cloud Hub by default. This is by default. So let's go and select this option now. So what is the file we'll add? What is the file we'll add secure properties to to mask the properties in Runtime Manager? So in order to mask the properties uh, within Runtime Manager, right, for a Mule application, so uh, first of all, you have to add a key called secure properties like this. And whatever the keys you would like to mask, you will have to pass them here within as a string or within double quotes. So let's say I want to uh, mask uh, something like FTP dot password. So this is what I want to mask. This is whatever I have selected here is the key value. And this is what I have want to mask. So in order to mask this right, I have to pass the corresponding hierarchy value, FTP uh, colon, I mean dot password. So this is what you have to pass in this way. So in order to add the secure properties or in order to mask the properties in the runtime manager, you have to use this mule hyphen artifact dot JSON. So now the answer will be mule hyphen artifact dot JSON. Now let's go with the next question. That is, what is the maximum memory that you can allocate to each value in the object store? So object store is used to store the key value pairs, right? It can be persistent or transient. But what is the maximum memory that you can allocate or you can store for a key in the object store? So that is 10 MB out of these options. So if you want to check, right, uh, you can check uh, in Google that 
uh, object store FAQs that is frequently asked questions okay plus mule 4 let, let's type this way so that uh, yeah object storage yeah so click on this now here you'll get all the out of the box questions or your out of the box questions will be answered uh, here in this link so I'll store I'll uh, give you this link in the description of this video okay so here right you'll see that answer here now what is the output from map object function so map object function is uh, I mean the input and output of the map object function is an object so let's choose this okay now if you want any explanation for this right you can check my uh, data view playlist let's go with the next question can we run or deploy multiple mule applications at a time in any point studio so the answer is yes you can deploy multiple applications at a time okay for example if you are deploying multiple rest applications where you'll you'll have HTTP listener right so in that case what you have to do you need to make sure that you are changing the port of that of those applications each and every application should have unique port if you are deploying uh, rest applications locally that means within any point studio so for this question the answer is yes now let's go with the next question that is what is worker and vco respectively so let's go with the uh, like let's discuss about this now if you click on the settings right for a mule application that is deployed in the cloud hub you'll find this interface where you'll find this worker size and workers now here you could see something like v core 0.1 v core 0.2 v core 1 v core 2 v core something like that till 16 v cores so v core is nothing but the memory that that you are going to assign for your application or allocate to your application and worker is something here this is my trial account so i'm not able to uh, show you but ideally you'll have eight workers here in this drop down so worker is nothing but the multiple instances Let, let's say if i allocate 0.1 v core and uh, one worker here right so that means my application is uh, up and running with one instance only now if i allocate two workers here that means the same application is it's like I'm creating two copies of uh, the same application or multiple instances of the same application. Now this is like memory. So 500 MB is what I'm allocating to this mule application. If you increase this, it's like, okay, you are allocating one GB of memory. But here the workers are like only one. If you have the enterprise account, you can choose the number of workers as well, like two, three and so on so that multiple instances will be created so that means though one of the instance is down the other two instance or the other one instance will be up and running okay so now the answer is what is worker and what is a v core so worker is an instance of for mule application and v core is the memory that you allocate to your mule application okay now this thing is a very simple thing that uh, yeah, the latest version of any point studio is 7.12 But I mean in the near future it, it might change to 7.13 or etc Okay, but as of now this is 7.12 Okay, now how can you cross verify that so that you can cross verify here go to help and click on about any point studio So my any point studio in my personal laptop is like is of version 7.11 I, I too did not update but the but the latest version of the anypoint studio is 7.12 now what is the use of map function so map function is it will accept an array of uh, what do you say a file or a payload uh, that is an array it will accept only an array and the output from the map function is again an array 
so that is what you have to understand the input and output is for a map function is an array and for map object again the input and output uh, will be object only so what is the use of map function so just to traverse through an array and it, it will also result into an array as output now let me submit this okay let me check on so i got 10 out of 10 yeah because i have created this mcq test by myself so there is no wonder in this so this way i'll try to create few more mcq tests and we'll share the link of the same in the uh, description of the corresponding videos so we will discuss uh, uh, these uh, questions uh, in different uh, series of videos so thank you so much for listening to to my video and please share subscribe to my channel thank you